Hey there YouTube, it's MathBoy, and welcome to my TTM Monday autograph recap video. I did not have a recap video last week, but I put something else really cool in its place, which that's only happened two times in 2021, but uh, I didn't receive a whole lot of requests that one week, so it always averages out, and uh, I had two weeks worth here actually. I got 32 autographs from nine people, so I had two below average weeks that actually combined to make a really nice little video here, so it all worked out. So I'm going to show you the autographs in the order with which I received them. I've been actively TTMing for over seven years. All ad addresses were obtained from SCN or SCF. I greatly prefer SCN. So please do not ask me for addresses as they are easily available. I'll let you know how many cards I sent, how long it took to get this, if I sent any money, how frequently I've sent to the person. So here we go. First up, well, this person included a nice little card. And this person actually put the cards in soft sleeves. I used to call them penny sleeves, but... I guess soft sleeves make sense now. So we have 404, first time I ever sent to him, Emerson Boozer. And this took 26 days. He has a beautiful autograph on some nice vintage cards. And that card's not vintage, but it looks nice. All right, next up I send to this person once, maybe twice a year. He's a 71 Pittsburgh Pirate World Series champ. Three of three in 12 days with a $5 donation, we got Richie Hebner, who also has a very nice autograph. That looks really cool. And I sent this. It's like an 8.5 by 11 photo with some members of the 1971 World Series team commemorating their win over the Baltimore Orioles. And he signed it right there. Now, Bruce Keeson's passed on, Willie Stardust passed on, but Al Oliver is going to be at the Mainline Autograph Show this weekend. Steve Blass is going to be at the Mainline Autograph Show this weekend. It's a thought. It's a thought. Yeah, oh, I think I forgot to mention, these are my autograph recap from the previous two weeks, actually. So, uh, even though my title or whatever will probably say week of September 5th, uh, you know, what's been a two-week lull. All right, next up, first time I ever sent this person for my golf project, 4 of 4 in 34 days, Jeff Sluman. He has a fun autograph, not as pretty as the previous two. That came out nice. Now, believe it or not, this is the first time I ever sent to Ken Anderson. 3 of 3 in 31 days. It's a good quarterback. It's nice to get him back. So surprised that's the first time I ever sent to him. So it was about time I sent to him. And this next person, I saw that he racks it up. So usually I would not send five unless it was a donation. But I had four cards plus a generic autograph card. So I went ahead and said five of five in seven days. First time I ever sent to Hal Sutton for my golf project. I saw he was racking them up. So I figured, well, I got four cards. But since he is really hitting them hard... I'll go ahead and include one of these generic autograph cards, too. Came out nice. Then, we got another golfer. It's nice to get some golf returns here. First time I ever sent to this person, three of two. So, sent two cards. Plus, he also signed an index card in seven days. We have Dave Stockton. Got a pretty nice autograph. Stephen, best regards, Dave Stockton. Very cool. All right, the next one I sent was a one of one in 17 days with a $10 donation. Former Pittsburgh Pirates manager, Clint Hurdle. I've had this for a while, and I wanted to send it out. I also sent a gold sharpie and said, please keep the gold sharpie. He's still signed in silver. And I'm not a fan of silver sharpies a lot because you can see like this sharpie was borderline dying as it is. <sighs> but it's still a really good piece in the collection. So very nice. And that $10 donation was a true donation. Prodder Willie syndrome. His daughter has it. And I'll gladly make that donation. I send to him about once a year, and shame on me, I sent, I should send to him more for that, for as often, you know, as many cards as I have of him. 
All right, this next person, I send to this person, you know, every two, three months because it's with a donation to a good cause as well. He's $8, but I send three cards at $25 anyway. He always signs an index card. So this is a four of three because he also loaded up the index card in seven days. As you can see, former Cy Young winner, Vern Law, 1960. Signed that card. That's great. That's one of the original ones. I know 2021 Tops repopped these again, so I'll send one of those out as well. And he just, I mean, if you haven't sent to Vern Law, I don't know why you haven't. I mean, the donation goes to an amazing cause for an amazing reason. And he just, he's just become an inscription machine. So amazing. Look at this index card. That's a freebie. Gave a dollar extra and, oh, wow. All right, my ninth and final return now. I've been doing this golf project for a long time, for quite a while now. I sent, in 2021, I've been doing consistently seven requests a week, and two of them would be golfers. And I was always saying, it's the first time I ever sent to the golfer, first time I ever sent to the golfer. Well, this is the only person, only golfer I'd ever sent to before doing my project. So I send, well, let's see, on average, about once in every three and a half years, since this is only the second time I've sent to this person, five of five, this person racks them up too. 10 days, Curtis Strange. And like I said, he racks them up. So I sent all five cards that I had, but I did not want to send a six one generic autograph card. I think that's actually pushing it. That's being a bit too much. For, for me, it is, um, unless there's a donation involved. So let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I would appreciate that. I upload three videos a week on Mon TTM Mondays. I do... You know, my TTM recap videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I do my trading card and autograph recaps. So uh, just as a heads up, this Wednesday's video will be me showing you all this stuff in preparation for the big mainline autograph show. And, you know, obviously the probably the, uh, quite a few videos after that will be my results from there. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to showing you all that. And thanks for checking out this video. Take care, everybody.